Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, I started this video a little bit late, but at least I'm not too much down on the clock. What do I play here? Let's go here. A against I am Satager. I wonder what it means. Let's go now knight c6 perhaps. Try to avoid a symmetry. Of course we want to get an interesting play. So bishop d4 is coming next if he lets us. And f6 with tempo cannot be a, good, a bad idea. I remember having such a game as white in the youth uh, championship under 12 or something. If I'm not wrong. Could be even under 14. My opponent was name. His name is Jan Gelbord, and uh, he's still a little, he retired and went back to play since then. A very talented chess player, and uh, I believe he's teaching chess in Israel. So, also a good friend, of course. So let's see. With black, he managed to beat me quite badly. How did he do it? H5 might be a good idea. So. My idea is to go g5 or uh, anticipate uh, white playing at some point bishop g3 and then capture it and go h4 if possible. At this moment I also want to get my knight to f4. So yeah, this whole opening, is, I mean with this particular move order feels a little bit fishy for uh, white. I think I can... I don't want to castle immediately because he has h3 so I think I'll just follow with follow up with my above mentioned idea let's say take if he takes h4 and uh, can also, now that he, the bishop uh, is uh, can stay here for a long time I'm not afraid of queen e2 because he doesn't have this h3 th threat coming up so quickly so I have several options I do like h4 though and if it takes I just take ah but this one I missed it okay I missed it so I should have castled first probably but now I'm, I have a new problem ahead of me and I have to solve it I can take and go e4 and then he will sacrifice the piece perhaps <coughs> I think I can just enter the end game. Should be better for black. Okay. So I'm very optimistic, but uh, definitely ruined some of my advantage. Not all of it. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where to put my pieces. Maybe taking wasn't so good. Maybe I should have played h3. So, let's put the rook on the open file. Close the air conditioning, grab some water, and uh, get ready for an endgame struggle. Preparing knight at 5, which is probably the best square for the knight. He should have anticipated it and tried to prevent it, I think. But maybe it doesn't make much of a difference. G4 is not that helpful. For some reason I thought it was annoying for him to meet. Okay, I'll go back. I can also put the knight on G4 from here. That's actually really interesting. I'm curious what he wants against it. Knight H2 might be yeah, a good prophylactic move. Now I can bring the other knight to d6. Ah, but he can go bishop f5 and knight g4. And suddenly I'm the one who's under pressure. Uh, yeah, I'm really misplaying this position. Knight g4 immediately is a blunder, unfortunately. Uh, because I grab with a check. So, yeah, bad uh, move order. No, I'm just completely lost for white. White. Yeah, you resigned. Okay, that's a 
an unfortunate end to the game but uh, you know when it's unfortunate for one player it's usually nice for the other one okay so a good friend of mine also told me an interesting uh, point where I played a blitz tournament a few days ago uh, and I lost uh, many lower rated players and uh, yeah he found a really nice upside to losing so many games uh, and he said you made many people happy yeah and uh, in this position so until here I'm more or less sure that I played correctly and now black should be better as far as I can tell yeah, g5 immediately and knight f5 well I like h5 but probably it's not the most precise so I want to think for a moment probably g5 is uh, the most educated decision to try to force bishop d3 yeah It's not so easy to prove. <laughs> Computer wants to castle short on bishop f5. Okay, uh, there are many moves that are objectively good, but the most human way to play is to attack. Yeah, and uh, I don't see any reason not to. So knight f4 might have been more precise, but for some reason I couldn't see the right way to attack here. Um, but. Uh, just h4 followed by bishop takes well it doesn't feel like I'm attacking that quickly and he, maybe he will come quickly with a4 and b6 related ideas or let's say queen f somewhere knight b3 knight c5 yeah anyway the most natural way is also the most primitive way g5 takes and just go with the caveman approach with h4 of course I missed knight e5 for some reason it's also the strongest for me what happens if I castle queen b1 yeah but he has to find it I still don't believe in his position that much because h4 is really quick and uh, yeah I'm, I'm gonna have tremendous initiative uh, at least I I think so well he has knight h2 but still feels wrong for white to play like this mm, there must be some idea for me maybe knight g7 by h4 yeah computer likes white but it feels really really bad for him and now suddenly it's equal again okay just a very interesting uh, complicated position and uh, 95 I missed and he spotted it immediately this is more or less equal hg is probably not the most precise way but uh, yeah, knight g7 was the right plan now I thought he should play g4 to limit this knight and then I want to just go back or maneuver this knight to d6 like computer suggests and uh, yeah here I suddenly like my position again but I shouldn't have missed or maybe I should have according to the engine as you can see probably knight f5 is the best move which is equal so I, I was expecting to have a little bit of a pull but maybe I shouldn't expect anything, just also take and go rook e8, just to make a draw somehow. Knight gf5, I was expecting him to yes. take and go knight g4. But yeah, rook e6 is the move I intended, but I thought I shouldn't be better, and I think I'm right. So, yeah, but instead he just blundered, and now I'm just completely winning. Yeah. Okay. It was an interesting game. I hope you enjoyed watching it and uh, maybe even learned something from it. And uh, if you want to learn some more, then uh, keep watching the next videos.